be known as a person from Malayalam cinema taking Kannada cinema to Kerala. <laughs> For a change, I have had an opportunity to bring Malayalam cinema to Karnataka and I am very happy about that. Uh, for people who have been keeping track of our promotional campaign for the film, I am assuming this is going to be a done to death story. But I believe I owe the courtesy to my media friends in Bangalore to take you through a small recount of how this film came into being. <clears throat> so this of course, by now you all know, is a true story. It's the life of Mr. Najib Mohammed. Uh, who, following a series of unfortunate circumstances, got stuck in a desert in the Gulf in the early 90s and had to spend almost three and a half years in forceful confinement under forced labor, pretty much modern day slavery, uh, till he managed to incredibly escape from the desert. And later on in 2008, following months and years of research and documentation, Benjamin, the author, finally documented the man's life into a beautiful novel called Arjivita. It was published first in 2008, and as soon as the first edition came out, the novel was a smash hit. It became almost pop culture in Kerala. And as we speak today, it is still being published, and we are now on the 251st edition. So, as soon as the novel came out, I think the first set of people to be really thinking about the novel were cinema people. Because it immediately came across that this would make an epic piece of film, piece of cinema. And I know personally that back then in 2008, early 2009, a lot many filmmakers, a lot many actors, a lot many producers, not just from Malayalam cinema but from other languages as well, had their eyes on RDG within the novel to try and procure the rights. But as destiny would have it, it was Mr. Plessy who managed to get the rights. And as my luck would have it, Mr. Blasi thought it was me who should be playing Najib in his dream film, his magnum opus. And that happened in early 2009 when Blasi sir and me shook hands and we decided that we were going to do this film. So remember back in 2009, Pan India did not exist. You know, the word had not yet been invented. But we still knew all those years ago that eventually when we were able to do this film, we want to try and attain the vision that Blessisar had in his mind. And he always thought of this as a big canvas, grand scale film. And we always knew that whenever the film was ready, we would love to have it released all across the country, all across the world, at least in five languages.